Hello Synapse community, my name is Ryan Machidomer and I'm a product manager on the Azure Synapse Analytics team. Today is the September 2022 Synapse update. We've got a lot of exciting updates today. We've got SQL, Apache Spark, Synapse Data Explorer, and data integration. We're gonna spotlight a couple of my favorites for today and you can find all the other updates on the blog, you can find a link in the description for this video. There's much more information about all the features as well as links to documentation, other blogs that may have been written about these specific features, all sorts of fun stuff like that. So number one on the list, we're thrilled to announce that the merge T-SQL command for Azure Synapse dedicated SQL pools is now generally available. Merge has been a highly requested addition to the Synapse T-SQL library that encapsulates inserts, updates, deletes into a single statement, drastically easing migrations and making table synchronization a breeze. Moving on to the next feature, we have a new update to the Livy error codes for your Spark pools. Previously, all errors in failing Spark jobs surfaced with a generic error code displaying Livy job state dead. This error code gave no further insight into why the job had failed and required significant effort to identify the root cause. To make troubleshooting errors easier, we've introduced a more precise list of error codes that describes the cause of failure and replaces the previous generic error code. Under the hood, when a Spark job fails in Synapse, the error handling feature now parses and checks the logs in the backend to identify the root cause and displays it in the monitoring pane along with the steps you need to take to resolve the issue. Last but not least, we have data integration. Starting this month, you now have the option to view your activity runs with a Gantt chart and integration runtime monitoring. A Gantt chart is a view that allows you to see the run history over a time range. This will give you additional monitoring views of your integration runtimes. And that wraps up the Synapse update for September. Tell us in the comments, What's your favorite feature for September? Again, my name is Ryan Majidimer. You can find me on Twitter. You can find Synapse on Twitter, Azure underscore Synapse. And if you like Twitter, boy, have I got the program for you. Now, it's not a program like, uh, like a computer program. It's actually a community program. There's lots of people in it. I am part of the program. You are possibly or you possibly will be in the future after watching this video, and you click in the description, there's a link, and you fill out a couple things, it's really quick, takes like 10 seconds, and you join the program. There's lots of exciting perks, there's events, sometimes I'm at those events. There's also titles, there is champion, contender, and challenger. That's right, three titles, uh, very easy to remember titles, and they're very exciting, prestigious titles. At any rate, link in the description, check it out. If you like social media, it is very exciting. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.